Hello friends, today I am going to talk about a special character in C Sharp. We will learn what special characters are and how and when to use it in a C Sharp program. So before we get started, just a quick reminder to subscribe my channel, hit the red button and don't forget to click on the little bell icon. That way you will be notified every time I upload a new video. Ok, without any further delay, let's get started. A special characters in C Sharp. What are special characters? Special characters are unique characters that we occasionally use in a string. Each character consists of a special character combinations that all begin with a backslash. In C sharp, a string is written in double quotation. What if if you want to add double quotes for a particular word in a string? Right? So we can't do that without a special character. That's where a special characters play an important role. Let's try to understand it with the help of examples shown over here. Here I have written a string str is equal to learn and enjoy is non-parallel learning u to char. Notice I have assigning a string text to str variable of the string where double quotation is given on non-parallel word. It produces syntax error. That's what I have written wrong over it. When we write like this a string str learn and enjoy with backslash and then non-parallel learning YouTube channel. So this is the right way to write those things. In that case, when we write this way, there is no error gets produced and program runs successfully. But you, if you are able to see, this is the output is getting generated. Learn and joy is non-parallel learning you to channel. If you notice non-parallel, it is written in the double quotation. Right? And how we are able to write this double quotation? Because we have used the special character in backs. But we are able to get such type of output. That's where this special character plays an important role. Some commonly used special characters are backslash m represents new line, backslash t represents tab, backslash b represents backspace, backslash u03c0 represents mathematically character pi. And if you notice, this backslash u03c0 is nothing but representation of the Unicode characters, where we need to write uxxxx represents the Unicode characters, where X, 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 X is the combination of the unit and this allows us to use character sets other than the basic Latin character that English is based on such as Greek, Arabic as well as wider areas of the symbol. Okay, let's switch to the Visual Studio and see all these things in action. So here we are on Visual Studio. Here we are going to see the demo of the special character. That's what I have done. I have created one console application a special characters demo as program.cs file. In program.cs file, we do have this name space special character demo. After this, we have this class name program that has main method, which is an entry point of this application. Here, what I'm doing, I have written this console.write line statement where I'm just printing a special characters demo in C sharp. And then See, if you see, I have just commented this line because this is not a correct way of writing. Whenever we are going to put this, you know, double quotation as a, a string text altogether. If, if you are going to put like this, then it will give us the error. What is the error? If you see, it is saying that represent text as a sequence utify only assignment and semicolon is expected. So, it is just not identifying the correct way of writing this particular text and assigning to the str variable. So this is not correct way of writing. I'm just commenting this and then I'm uncommenting this line. So this is the way how we are going to write it correctly. Here we are just putting this backslash and double quote. Then this is the word that I just wanted to put into the double quotation. So we need to write backslash double quotation, backslash double quotation so that it will get printed non parallel in the double quotation. Okay, and then what I'm doing, once assigning value is done into the str variable, I'm printing into this console window. We will see what the value is going to get printed. And then what I'm doing, I'm just writing the special characters using Unicode. So this is the way I'm just writing to backslash U03C0R. So basically what I'm doing over here, I'm just trying to print the perimeter of the circuit. What is the parameter of circles? 2 pi r and pi is a mathematical notation of pi and we don't have any symbol in C sharp, right? So that's where we are going to use this Unicode character. It will just going to print the 2 and this value here to here that is the Unicode variable. It is just going to get converted as a pi notation and 2 pi r it is just going to get printed. 
So that's where this special Unicode, Unicode character is very, very useful. Whenever we don't have the option to write, if there is a need, we can go for the special Unicode characters. Let me execute this and witness the output. Okay, so output got appeared into this console window. See this output, a special characters demo in C sharp, the console statement I have written. So it just printed this statement, a special characters demo in C sharp. And then the second statement, learn and enjoy is non parallel learning YouTube channel. It got printed. Notice this non parallel is having within the double quotation right and that's what we wanted to achieve it we could do so with the help of this special characters and we are able to get this output in console window perfectly fine right and the second statement we wanted to use it right using the special unicode characters and wanted to print two pi r and pi is not available as a keyword that's what we have used this special unicode we are able to get it printed into this console window the parameter of a circle is two pi r that's what we are able to achieve it with the help of a special characters. Now that brings me to end of my session. To sum up, in this video, we learn that what a special characters are, how and when to use it in a C-sharp program. That's all for this video, guys. If you like this video, hit the like button, share it with your friends and colleagues, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done already. Thanks for watching. See you next video.